I'm, look, I'm used to saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's not the one. The name of my song says, How Excellent Is Your Name, O Lord. It's a familiar song. It's a song that, you know, most, sometimes when I go out, people will ask me, um, they don't understand uh, what happened, why God do this, why God. I always tell them that um, when you, when doctor tell you you cannot live the next day and you are alive for another 15 days, that is what makes him excellent and that is what makes him wonderful. So listen and be blessed. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Talk about. 
seven. Amen. <laughs> Almost. It was something like that. Anyway, we're glad to be with you today. It's always a privilege to come over and be with Brother Harley and Sister Trevor. There was a, you know, you got wonderful pastors. Amen. And yeah, good to be with you. We appreciate them very much, and they are a big help to us and our church. They've just been such a blessing, and um, we appreciate them very, very much, very much. And so we just want to be a blessing to you today. Is that all right? Amen. Uh, if you want to, if you want to, you know, clap, if you want to sing, if you want to stand, if you want to run around the church, or anything, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you said just don't sleep. Uh, <laughs> You know, we're just here to worship the Lord, all right? Give the Lord glory and praise today. Well, it's good to be here with you guys today. We're pinch hitting for whoever it was that was going to be here today. But, uh, you know, Brother Arlie and Sister Trevor work so good at the camp. And they give so much labor for the Lord that... You know, we can't tell you no. So, <laughs> and we don't go sing in places. We just sing in our home church and things like that. Uh, but it's good to be here with you all. And, you know, we might as well make this hour just an hour of worship. Just an hour that we give God glory, give Him praise today. And I don't know about you, but the weather is so beautiful. And that in itself has just lifted my spirit. You know, after that long, hard winter. And uh, I'm just so thankful. For the goodness of the Lord, and I felt the very first song that came to my heart this morning when I woke up is, I will bless the Lord. And I thought, you know, you're just worthy to be praised. So you all worship with us, and if you know the songs, just jump in and sing with us.
thank you. I was thinking of all the things that the Lord does in the Bible that are behind the scenes, you know. He doesn't always come out and just give us a giant victory, but sometimes he does a lot of behind the works stuff in your life. And he's so consistent. And I was thinking, I was trying to look up all the things that the Lord does for us every day. Because there's some things that God does for us every day that we forget about. He daily loaded us with benefits. His mercy is new every single morning. When we wake up, we are still able to see, we, we can hear, and we're still able to talk to the Lord. And, and He hasn't moved Himself, He hasn't changed just one bit. But the same faithful God that was faithful for the, the, three, Hebrew, the three Hebrew children, He's going to be faithful to you in whatever trial you're going through. And it might seem like, oh God, I, I don't know what you're doing in my life. Are you even working? He might be doing something behind the scenes in your life, even right now. And I'm just so thankful for how the Lord works in mysterious ways, but always brings about a victory in our lives. Hallelujah. We're going to sing a song called This is the Promise. I love this song. And uh, aren't you thankful for all the promises God's made? Yes. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of people that make a promise, and then they're like, oops, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. You know? Or, or they're like, oh, I just can't do it. Sorry. I know I promised. I lied. You know, I read people, but I just lied, you know. But aren't you so thankful that we serve a God that when he made a promise, he yeah. always keeps his promise. Yeah. Never. 
that God hears us. Yes. You know, today in my Sunday school class, we were reading in Acts chapter 16. Hallelujah. And some things stood out to me today that I, I know I've read them. You know how that goes. But I just didn't see them before or something. And uh, Paul was seeking the Lord about where to go. And he thought, oh, I'll go over here. And it said the Holy Ghost forbid him to go there. Yeah. God spoke to him and said, no, that's not where you're supposed to go. So then it said, well, then they wanted to go to Asia. And it said, but the Lord didn't let him do that either. Isn't that funny how God works? Yeah. We think we know exactly, you know, oh, I need to go here. There's the need. I need to do this. But the Holy Ghost knows. Yeah. And it's just amazing to me. I know I've read that before, but God stopped them. I know they probably, those people probably needed help, but for right then, that was not God's will for them to go there at that time. But then, where did the Lord lead them after that? He led them to a little bitty service by a riverside in Philippi, where Lydia and some of them were gathered to worship. They said if there wasn't enough people for a synagogue, they would just meet out by a riverside. Just a little Bible study. I mean, a famous missionary like Paul, yeah. and he's ended up at a little Bible study by the river? Yeah. I mean, who would think, you know? Right? right? I mean, can you imagine Billy Graham showing up at your little Bible study? Yeah. I can't, no, you know? <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, yeah, I'm here for the new convert study tonight. Oh, really? You know? <laughs> can you imagine? But God sent Paul right there by that riverside. And that little service. Hallelujah. You know, kind of like us today. You know, all of us together today. I mean, you know, nobody big and famous is here, right? I guess. I mean, I don't really know. If you are, you can raise your hand. You know, but none of us are. But he met right there with them. And Lydia gave her heart to the Lord, and it said that her whole household was baptized. Praise the Lord. Isn't that something? Yes. That God sent that big missionary to that little bitty place at the side of a river Come on. with all these little nobodies, Hallelujah. you know? And God saved Lydia and her whole household. Praise the Lord. And God started a revival at Philippi from that little group right there. Right. We serve an amazing God. He amazes me. How did God know? I, you know, why didn't he just send him to Asia or, or whatever? Because God has a perfect plan and a perfect order to what he wants to do in our lives. And we're going to sing a song I think all you guys know. Sister Trevor, Brother Arley, I think you guys can help us on this one. Let's just make a group effort. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, if we're going to do this. You can help. Yeah, let's sing. Uh, I think about the Lord. I think we should do a whole little ensemble thing going on over here. Yeah, I grabbed some microphones. But I was thinking, you know, I think this is a song Lydia would have sang. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me. Can you imagine her testimony? What's your testimony? But can you imagine her standing up and saying, you'll never believe this, but we were in a Bible study, or we were out to worship by the river, and Paul, the apostle, showed up. Wow. You know, but you know, every one of us have an amazing story just like that. Right. Right. Who told you about the Lord? Yeah. How'd you get saved? Right. You know, does it ever just blow your mind that God worked everything just right so that you would come to repentance? Right. That amazes me. Yes. God. You know, that he would do that. Yes. Our God. Yes. I'm amazed yes. at his goodness. And his mercy. Amen. When I think about the Lord and how he saved me, how he raised me, how he picked me up, how he turned me around, how he placed my feet on solid ground, yes. Yes. it makes me want to shout hallelujah. Surely you guys sing this one. Do you guys sing this one here? Okay, come on. I know you got to know some of these. All right, so open those voices and sing with us. Hallelujah. And you just jump in whatever part you want to say. Okay, Sister Katrina, why don't you lead this? I'm getting a little worse. We don't sing this long at our church, so my voice don't, I get crying, I can't sing very long. All right.